Hi guys, hope everybody is doing well today. Um, I keep repeatedly getting messages from my buddy Ian, Essential Handyman, saying show us in one of your toolboxes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out one of the drawers, possibly this brass one, and let's have a look what junk's inside. So Ian, this is video for you, buddy. Right, Ian, so let's have a look in what one is in one of my drawers so i've got several of these drawers full of bits of brass and bits of junk which i've picked up um i don't know why but i always seem to be attracted to bits of brass so i'll have a look and we'll see what's inside the box um for ian the essential handyman go check his channel out if i remember i'll put a link below right so here we've got some general motor uh, tool tags I got off my buddy Resto Rob. Thank you, Rob. And um, these are fantastic tool tags. And I think you um, take a tool, you put the tag, and then when you you know, so people know where the tool is and who's got it. Um, quite a lot of them. I think there's was it there's ten of them. I think so. Ten tool tags, General Motors. Um, this one's three three six, and the rest of them all seem to be six eighteen. Uh, but yeah, Resto Rob. We've got a brass um, little hacksaw. Um, it says made, we can see there, made in England. Made in England, little brass hacksaw. We've got several of these uh, buckles. Um, these buckles are from kit bags. World War II, uh, probably most likely. Um, kit bag padlocks, different designs. Uh, four of them there. I did buy a really lovely one of these, but my buddy Michael got it on Newark, so I gave it him. So some kit, kit back locks. We've got a couple of hacksaws. We've got a steel one with a brass um, thumb screw, and then we've got an all brass one, which is my favourite. Bloody love them. Um, we've got a, um, a lathe dog um, for helping centre things in lathes, made out of brass, of course. We've got a set of brass feeler gauges from my buddy Resto Rob. All the best brass comes from Resto Rob. He's a legend. Works very hard. Brings home the bacon. Every time I, every time I speak to him, he's under a faucet or a sink or a bathtub. Hacksaw in a way with plasterboard all over his head. He is the hardest working man in Michigan. So everybody should go check out Resto Rob's channel. It's amazing. So thanks, Rob, for that. We've got a couple of horseshoes, one from Wales and one just don't know what. These probably given at country fairs, country shows. And um, we've got a looks like a biscuit cutter. Um, I need to try that, see what sort of biscuit. It's got the holes for the aeration of the biscuit. Um, and it's a stamp, a die for a machine. Very, very thick brass biscuit cutter. We've got another lathe bench dog, bit of fun. We've got some sort of a wrench, like a nut wrench, socket wrench, I don't know what you call it. So it's kind of nice, a bit awkward, but kind of a nice item. We've got a solid brass chain I picked up on um, Chelford car boot sale in the summer. Um, God knows why I bought that, but I did. What else we got? We've got a funny looking spoon with a, a bottle opener. Um, oh, it's got Churchill. That's why I bought it. One of the one of the greatest Britons ever to have lived. All this woke society telling me he's you know he's a racist, he's a hero in my view. Uh, so we've got a um a auto grease gun made made in England. Auto grease gun made in England. Uh, screw down. Um, I wouldn't want to use that to grease up things, but nice, nice. We've got a little miniature. Um, clamp made out of brass that's always fun oh this is kind of interesting I bought this um, on my more local car boot sale in the summer we've got a savings bank I don't know if you can see that savings bank little brass and inside has the um, what short I'm not sure what they are uh, six pences 1955 1966 1963 so this was somebody's savings in 1960s. Um, kind of fun that it's still got the little coins in it as well. 
Um, six pences. I don't know what the value of that is, but probably less than a pound for all of them. Um, savings, six pence only. There you go, it says it on there. And you can see how many you've got. So we're a, about here. So we've got 16 sixpences. So, yep, yeah, that, that's kind of a nice thing. We've got this. This is for, I think, for chemists or something. Like a, I don't know what you call it when you, I don't know, alchemist spoon. Kind of like the shape and the design of it and then the way it's made out. Kind of fun. We've got a multi-tool. Um, bit of brass inside it has different uh, tools. We've got a screwdriver, um, looks like a corkscrew, and then some sort of wood, awly screw thingy, my Bobby. Bit of fun. So that's always fun. We've got a blow gun. Tss, 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 blow gun um, with a little bit of hose. That's a bit of fun. Nicely made blow gun. Made in England, of course. Only the finest. We've got a three-way multi-tool square nut wrench multi-tool we've got a brass screw from jack shed he brought that i'm sure he did we've got a one-off um um tremel point and um, should have two of them obviously to a judge distance don't know why i bought one it's me though isn't it what do you expect um what have we got here i think this is a blow torch um like a blow torch heater it's got like a thing on there you light it and then it will burn a jeweler's torch, I think it is. We've got some sort of a scribey bench thing here. Sorry about the ambulance. We've got some sort of scribey bench plate malarkey. God knows what those are for. Quite tinny though, so I don't know what they are, but they're nothing special. We've got a 2002 uh, rally um, badge. You see a lot of these on the markets. Cast and given to the people who attend the rallies. Um, we've got a brass shoe of all things, an old brass shoe. You see a lot of those. Whoever made those made a lot of them. We've got two um, dog bone wrenches, French because it says depose on it, and all the tools I've got what French seem to have depose on it. Uh, two of them. I don't know. How I've managed to buy two the same. We've got one of those window hooks for pulling down windows on a stick. You sort of having a school school window in the sports hall. Um, but it looks to be quite old, lovely patination. I mean, you wish all your tools had come with that kind of brassy patination. Lovely. Another one of those multi-tools, unless it's the same one. No, it's definitely no, it's another one. Another one of those kit bag, kit, kit bag locks. We've got a uh, brass hammer. Jack Shed dropped me around. He said I, I could um, polish that up and put a handle on it. But I just kind of like it the way it is, a little old hammerhead. We've got... Um, this is a special uh, electrician's tool for certain type of um, pa um, wire. Um, I forgot the name of it. It's some, I think it's to do with like fiber optics or something. I don't know. Um, we've got a little um, blacksmith anvil from Gretna Green. Got a few of these, uh, hollow inside, um, and that's wishing people buy these when they get married in Gretna Green, because in England um, you can get married at eighteen. In Scotland, it's sixteen. So people would cross the border to Gretna Green, which is the first town in sort of Scotland over the border, and they'd get married because they wanted they were young lovers, and they would buy a little brass anvil, and 40 years down the line, they're all on the car boot for a couple of quid. And then we've got some brassy bullets. So hopefully you enjoyed that little show of what's inside one of my brass drawers. If you enjoyed it, let me know. I've got plenty of drawers to show you in. Um, Ian, you're a legend, so I'm just doing this video for you, buddy. All right, take care. Have a great day. Bye.